Welcome to release six. This is the slip stitch square and it's one of the largest panels that we'll be doing on the blankets. There are six of them in total and the patterns are available on knitrowan.com. In the tutorial for this square, we'll be showing you how to work the slip stitch technique. This is a technique that creates the color work. This panel here has four different shades of felted tweed used, but you're only using one color on any one row. For this release, I'm gonna show you the slip stitch technique. Here I've got a small example. Um, it's slightly smaller than the ones that you'll be doing. So I'm gonna be working from row three on the pattern. You start by knitting three. And then it tells you to slip two with the yarn at the back. And that's the back of the work. So just keep the yarn where it is and slip the next two stitches and you slip them purl ways. Knit two. And slip two with the yarn at the back. And continue like this until you get to the last stitch. The reason why you slip them purl wise is so that you don't twist the stitches when you come to work them on the next row. And the last stitch is just knit one. The next row, knit one. Pearl two. Slip one with the yarn at the back. So take the yarn to the back of the work. Slip one pearl wise. Slip one with the yarn at the front. So bring the yarn to the front of the work and slip one pearl wise. Pearl two. And you're going to repeat this to the end. Slip one with the yarn at the back. Slip one with the yarn at the front. Pearl two. And repeat this to the last stitch. And knit one. The reason why you alternate whether you're slipping with the yarn at the front or the back is so that you end up with these little horizontal lines on the front of your work. Don't forget to share your progress with us on social media. Thanks for joining in.